Off in the distance there is the Lighthouse Field State Park Monarch Overwintering Site. It's that big clump of trees right there. It sits out on a, it's a major landmark that the Monarch see, real, can see from a distance. Right there in the center of the picture is the big eucalyptus grove. It's relatively new. It wasn't there 30 years ago. I'm now at the Lighthouse Field Butterfly Grove. Offhand, it looks like all the butterflies are in this cypress tree. See those big clumps up there? Looks like in the neighborhood of 3,000, not, not very many. I think last year they had 18,000 here on the Thanksgiving count. I, I just discovered another clump of some more of them. Another thousand here at least. This is uh, another view of the Lighthouse Grove. It's only about one acre in size. And I wanted to show the uh, frost on the cars. The cold morning. It's not quite as cold as Mexico in the morning on average, but um, still cold enough to put frost on the homes and cars fairly often. Yeah, I'm still at the Lighthouse Field Eucalyptus Grove or actually across the street uh, and uh, there's a gardener here that um, plants milkweed, an evergreen milkweed. This is either fruticosa or spicocarpa and there's usually caterpillars on it but I don't see any offhand today. So it's, the caterpillars sometimes have a hard time in December and January due to the cold, but then they um, do better and from fe February on. See those balls? That looks, see there's, the plants there look like they are uh, been stripped of some leaves because there were caterpillars here a month ago. But I don't see any right now. Those are the seed pods of the uh, milkweed, those balls. But anyway, the point is here, even when you have milkweed next to an overwintering site, you're not necessarily going to have a problem with the milkweed being stripped all the time from caterpillars laying eggs, I mean from adults laying eggs on it. Yeah, I wanted to uh, show how the, uh, I'm standing at Lighthouse Point across the street from Lighthouse Field State Park and I wanted to show the uh, eucalyptus groves in the background. I think the one in the middle there is the Moran Lake overwintering site. I'll have to check the Google Maps. but. 
As you can see, these eucalyptus groves are prominent in the landscape, so it's not hard to imagine how that monarchs can find them easily. And um, right there is the Lighthouse Fields State Park monarch overrunning site, that big tall clump of eucalyptus. It's a very small clump, but it's tall.